Hey, welcome to the Occasional Beard for April, uh, I believe it's 27th, 2020. Um, so this, is, I'm going to talk just a little bit about um, my depression, but this isn't what this is about at all. So just bear with me. This is about movies to a degree. So um, I have depression. Most people know that. Um, I had this thing called ECT done uh, four years ago. And... Um, it like lecture shock therapy. Just, I've written, I've talked tons about it. Anyway, one of the things it did after the fact though is it opened me up like a raw nerve and I started crying about a lot of things. <laughs> like fabric softener commercials um, would hit me in the feels and I'd start crying about it. And then watching those videos of soldiers coming home or meeting their dogs after lunch. Oh man, I was a wreck. Um, and saying that, I was thinking about this today. Um, I was watching a video where it talked about movies that are uplifting and it made me think about something and it made me think, I should do a video about this. So I'm going to give you guys six movies that literally hit me every time where if like, and my, my, I know this because my daughters have done this to me where like they know the scene's coming up. So they turn, I don't know if you've ever done this where like, you know, something's coming up that someone else is going to react to. So you'll like the movie's happening here and you're just like. You're waiting for it. You're like, eh. like it happens in movies where like a shock thing's coming. You just see people go, ah, and it's like, but for my daughters, it's, it's usually where they, or I'll do the same thing to them where I think they're going to cry. And it's like, so they're watching. So I'm going to talk about six movies and six scenes in movies in these movies that hit me in the feels that just, uh, some of them make me just want to ugly cry. And some of them just every time I can't help myself. Um, and so if you don't know these movies, I would, I would highly recommend everyone. Uh, you, you, you probably know some of them. You might not know all of them, but I'm just going to talk about the scenes. So number one, um, we're going to talk about, uh, what's kicked this off was a thing called remember the Titans. Remember the Titans is a movie about a football team that's made up of black and white players and they come together and, and through a time of like racism and stuff and, and become a team. And the two main guys on the team um, start out hating each other and end up becoming literally best friends. And the one guy, so if you don't know, the, the, he gets in an accident. So there's spoilers, by the way. So he gets in an accident and uh, he ends up paralyzed from the waist down. And he's the white guy. His name is Bertier. And Jules is the, the black guy that's his, like, you know, his teammate. And... He's waiting for him in the, the hospital room. And I'm, I'm just straight up, I'm going to tear up during this. Deal with it. If you're unemotionally available, then you're probably turning this off already anyways. Uh, anyways, so he walks in the room. He, he gets told he's waiting for you. And he walks in the room and the nurse is there. And it's, it's a white nurse. And he's a white guy. And there's a black guy standing coming in the door. And he's just, she's just like, I'm sorry, kin only. And she just goes, he, he says, Alice, are you blind? That's my brother. And yeah, every, like he comes in and he's just like, I'm so sorry, man. And, you know, they go back and forth and he's just like, I was afraid of you. And all I did was hate my brother. All I did, all I was doing was hating my brother. And it's just every time it makes me cry. And it's just, yeah. So that, that hit me in the feels. And just thinking about it, it hits me in the feels. And this is the thing. So, um, so there's a couple other ones. So I was going to just do this. So number one, or number two, Forrest Gump. Several things in Forrest Gump made me, made me hit the feels. But if you don't know Forrest Gump, it's a story about a guy who's not the smartest guy in the world who does all these amazing things, mainly because he doesn't know he's not supposed to do them. And, um, but there's a scene where he finds out he's a father. And the first thing he wants to know is... Is the kid smart? And he goes to ask his, his Jenny and just he pauses and it's Tom Hanks and he gives a great performance and he just it breaks my heart every time because it's like this is a guy who's done amazing things but knows he's not smart and he's just like his greatest worry is that he's passed this on to his son who he didn't know existed five seconds ago. Every time it hits me in the feels, every time. All right, so yeah. Just is he smart, Forrest Gump? Um, and there, there are other things that make me cry in all these movies, but um, so uh, there's a movie called Warrior. And it's about two brothers that are uh, fight MMA, and they're really they're 
they're they've broken apart over the years and have a really fractured relationship and ends up them fighting. And it, the last round, the one guy who's been dominant fighter ends up getting hurt by the other guy, and he's like just it's supposed to be over, but they won't give up, and he ends up grabbing a hold of him and he's got him in this hold. And he's just like, I'm sorry. He's like, I'm sorry, just tap. I'm sorry, just tap. And then he's like, I love you. And every time it wrecks me. And like just hearing it's this is a thing that me and Zion talk about. The music that starts to play at the beginning of that round and goes. Every time she hears it, she starts crying. And like she didn't see the see the movie. And he just like he's like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And then he goes, I love you. And then he taps and then like he picks his brother up and walks him out of the ring. Oh my lord. People, if you haven't seen them, it's a great movie. Where? All right, what else? Um, um, horror script. So we did. Okay. Lord of the Rings. I'm going to end. We've got one more. So we got Remember the Titans. Oh no, we got two more. So Lord of the Rings. Lord of the Rings, big, massive thing. Awesome. But um, the scene that makes me just. Oh, hits me. Is at the very end. You've seen Lord of the Rings. Every, everyone's safe. Everything's good. Aragorn becomes king and everyone is bowing down to him. And then he gets to the hobbits. And this literally makes me cry because every time it's like everyone's like turns to the hobbits and the four little hobbits are standing there. And, they're, and, and they all go to bow down and he's just like, no, no, no. You bow to no one. And everybody bows to the hobbits and it makes me cry. Hits me in the feels. See, I'm not embarrassed about this or ashamed. This is just things that hit me. And especially since the ECT, it opened me up even worse. I used to do a little single tear. Um, last thing, this one, I got two more. One wrecks me, wrecks me. One has always hit me hard. So the one that wrecks me is a movie called Pride. And it's set in the 80s in England and Wales. And it's all about gay support, like people from the gay pride parade area era. Um... And they decide they're going to support the striking miners. And they, they literally raise money for them and then end up connecting with this small town in Wales, which is my dad's country. That's where my dad comes from. And um, they they end up connecting with them and visiting them and becoming part of the, most of the community. Some people dislike them because they're gay and lesbians. but most of, And they, the community reinforces that and comes back and... It ends, I'm just spoiling in here, but deal with it. It ends with the, the gay pride parade march. And um, they're just a small group in this march. And they're told they can't have, have their banners, which is like, you know, and and they're like, well, we're not going to give our banners. And then all of a sudden, the guy's like, oh, no, you got to come to the front of the parade. And the the group, the small group from the small town of Wales shows up to, to go walk, march with them. And they're like, this is amazing. And they all hug and they all love each other and stuff. And they're like, why why are we marching at the front of the parade? And all of a sudden, buses show up. And it's buses upon buses upon buses. And it's the miners. And it's, yeah, it hits me. It make, I've never been more proud of being Welsh in my heritage. The entire miners union shows up and marches with uh, the gays and lesbians support the liners, or lesbians and gays support the miners, and march with them in the parade. And these are people that, like, don't know gay people but they show up because they got supported so they support and the film ends and it just oh it wrecks me every time i watched it the other day and it just made me cry and last but not least the thing that makes me tear up more than any other thing in the history of cinema probably iron giant and if you don't know iron giants about this boy who befriends this giant metal man that comes from space and he literally teaches them that you get to choose who you are and he chooses to sacrifice himself at the end of the movie to save him, his friend, and the entire town. And literally, like, a nuclear bomb is dropping and he just blasts off to destroy it. And, like, as he's going into it, he thinks, how do you want to see yourself? And he thinks, I want to be Superman. And he, boom, hits me every time, people. Yeah. I don't know who's still watching this, and I apologize for the length, but this is the reality. Um, these things hit me in the feels. So, if you've never seen these movies, remember the Titans, Iron Giant, Pride, Lord of the Rings, Warrior, Force Gump. All of them are worthy movies to watch. Amazing. 
amazing movies to watch and they all hit me in the feels and I just wanted to share that today I don't even know why but I did so there we go you have an awesome day god bless on watch movies